Good Lord. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I'm here once again in our super best, fancy, fancy, what the hell is this test location in the southwest of England. So I haven't done a top five for a little bit, and I thought that might be quite a fun thing to do. Now, as it happens, I can do top fives on whatever I please, really. This is my channel. But I thought today what I would do is show you a top five unusually shaped picks and I have made some I made some choice discoveries for this particular episode of Heavy Repping. Before we get started though I'd like to do this week's shout out to Tantris Picks. Uh, these guys are making fabulous looking plectrums from steel in the United States and they sent me this really boss looking t-shirt which I'm very pleased with. Thanks very much. Uh, please do go and check out their uh, wares in the link in the description below and if you'd like you can go and have a look at their plectrums entering the five outrageously good looking plectrums list that I did a wee while ago. So let's meet this week's five contenders. The Howling Monkey Antonius, the Ricky Leplectrier Gab Acroswirl, the Windspear Battleaxe Stealth, the Plextrum Dalliance and the Depic Argentina Eye of Horus. So I'm going to chuck these through the stick board and whim and see how we get on, starting with the Antonius. Let's go. So those of you who have been long time readers of Heavy Repping will know that the Antonius still, to this date, carries the highest rating of any pick on the website. Now the reason for that is very simple. I love Tagaway anyway, that's great, but I love the shape of this, I love how weird it is. Uh, I love the fact that it's actually a 351 with some bits missing, but there's something about it that when I play makes me want to do other stuff. It takes me away from my normal playing patterns, my normal cage, if you like, of all the tropes that I normally play, all the things that you kind of learned over the years. And the fact that these are so strange, um, I really, I really do find quite inspiring. Uh, this is my very first one, I've got another couple, but this is the first one and I've always had a bit of an attachment to it, so uh, without further ado, let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> Presenting the big lads in the first round, uh, I would like to show you this. This is the Windspear Battleaxe Stealth. What is stealthy about a battleaxe, you say? Nothing. However, this is one of Tom's most outrageous creations. It's made from Peak, uh, which is a polyether ether ketone. Uh, leaves black dust everywhere when you play it, but that's okay because the tone is superb. The grip is also amazing. It's like a tougher tighter version of um, roughened Altem. This is just so extreme and I love the taper, it's just so huge. It goes from 8 to about 2.5 millimeters. so I could yarn on about this for a bit but I think you'd rather hear it. So without further ado, let me see how she sounds. <laughs> This little scamp comes from Ricky Lepletrier in France, maybe, and it's called the Gab. Uh, it's a very, very unusual design that's unique to him as far as I can tell, and it's made from a material called Acro Swirl. Acro Swirl is acrylic with swirls in, and it's got these uh, very, very gently buffed um, sections on it. I think this is an amazing looking thing, and I love 
the, the stuff that Ricky makes is just so... I'm just going to do this. He made one for... He made a, a pick recently out of bone for Halloween that's got uh, bones carved... It's made of bone and it's got bones carved into it to make it look like a skull. Nice. So I'm going to try and get my hands on one of those. So I'm going to check it out of the guitar and see how we go. <laughs> into the realms of the extreme now, uh, I'd like to talk about this. This is, yeah, this is the Plextrum Dalliance. This is made from Altem and it is massive. It's almost, I think, hold on. It's actually bigger than my previous biggest Plectrum, which is this uh, giant red thing from Days Atomic. Uh, Daniel, I'm sorry to say, your place has been usurped by this triangular monster of a thing. Now, when Plextrum sent me this, I'd seen it on the internet, but I had no idea it was going to be this big. It's actually the same thickness as the Battle Axe, but it's a very, very different experience, let me tell you. Uh, it looks like it'd be impossible to play with this, but it's surprisingly easy, as I'm about to demonstrate. The final plectrum in our top five unusual things today is this. Ready? Yeah. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Eye of Horus from Depic Argentina. Uh, Gabriel, who makes these, is a gypsy jazz player. And this is the most, to date, the most over-engineered plectrum I've ever seen. I've been sharing his work for ages and I, I think it's so crazy and bold to do something like this because obviously in the pick world you're going to attract a lot of people going why have you done this? You forget the reason why we climb a rock, Spock. It's because it's there. This is made from something, I don't know what material he's used. It feels like this, a similar sort of thermoplastic to chicken picks but I can't confirm that. Uh, it's come all the way from Argentina and it's actually very very clever in its design because what you've got is you've got a ring at the top and if you have larger hands or whatever you've got a bigger ring. Initially it felt a bit weird but it's actually very comfortable. I wore a thumb pick for a long time but I find that actually I prefer if I'm going to play finger style to use my fingers and with this thing if you're playing like that and then you pull it around you can still do this. I can promise you there's nothing else like that floating around in the Plectroverse. So, instead of yakking, let's see what it's like.
I hope you have enjoyed this uh, little excursion into the realms of the obscure and the unknown. All of these picks are different ways of going about the same job, but I always find that really exciting because there is no rule as to what a plectrum needs to be. That's why uh, gypsy players back in the day used to use really circular picks. Um, that's why you can get uh, picks for the oud that are really long and thin. That's why you can get super pointy ones. That's why you get super thick ones, super thin ones. Everything from the 0, 0 0.3 mil of the T1 all the way up to the utter giants that you see being made by companies like Huffschmidt. So I hope you will go and check out all of these companies at the tags displayed on screen and at the links in the description below. In the meantime, my name is John Tron Davidson. I'll be back next Tuesday with more of Heavy Repping. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Please don't forget, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard and rep heavy. Mm -hmm.